Uh, welcome to the Big Movie Month Off, sponsored by PC Laptops. We're here at Bruvy Cinema Pub to review more movies today. I'm Jeff Ice with MSN Entertainment. And I'm Jimmy Martin with Slug Magazine. You can find Big Movie Mouth Off on Xfinity On Demand, uh, Utah On Demand, SL Alternative, and we'll be right there waiting for you. Yeah. Uh, our next movie is Somewhere, the latest drama from Francis Ford Coppola's little daughter. She's all grown up, but she's a filmmaker, Aww. Sophia Coppola. She's telling the story of a pampered movie star played by Stephen Dorff who's living in Hollywood's infamous Chateau Marmont. But that, that's the hotel where John Belushi went to die. And uh, he's got a young daughter who he's been, she's been forced on him. She's played by Elle Fanning, the little sister of Dakota Fanning. Mm -hmm. And they have a series of adventures. Hi, Dad. Hey, Cleo. Can decisions shape your life? Well, you, you call them adventures, I, and you call it a drama, too. I, I, I call it a sleep aid, because this is by far the most boring movie I've seen in like six months. Like, and I mean, and not like, I mean, shot, you know, cinematography wise, you just sleep through the whole thing. Cinematography wise, boring. You're gonna put me to sleep. But here's the thing nothing happens in this movie. The opening shot is Steven Dorff driving around in a Ferrari in circles for five or ten minutes. And I'm like, okay, what's gonna happen? Is someone gonna hit him? You know, like, nope. He gets out of his car, looks around, and drives away. Spoiler alert, the movie ends with him driving a car around. <laughs> in circles. <laughs> yeah. Which is, which is essentially what this boring film does. I'm going to confess something so unprofessional. Would you fell asleep through it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Although talking about it really is putting me to sleep. Uh, they showed a trailer for somewhere before another film. Oh, yes. At a public screening. Yes. And I made loud snoring noises. <laughs> In the middle I think, of a theater. Well, I don't think you're the only one. You may be the only one that admits it, but yeah. every critic in there was doing it. I'm sorry. But here's the thing. Lost in Translation, which was her film before this, yeah. was about an actor. Oh, well, I, there's Marie Antoinette in between, too. Oh, okay. My bad. Well, okay, let's say uh, last drama like this. Okay, so there's right. Lost in Translation. Bill Murray played an actor who had, had lived the life of an actor. Right. Had, had you know... And he was done with it, you know, like that. And he just wanted to find compassion like that, which got Scarlett Johansson. Brilliant film. I loved it. He brought so much to that table. The prop, but there was so much to invest in him because you're like, this guy is a tortured soul who just like is so over the spotlight. I plus, don't want this plus anymore. Plus, we like him. Yeah. Stephen Dorff is the playboy who gets strippers in his hotel room who, oh, sorry, you broke your arm. Is that, I don't know why you're supposed to generate drama from that, who treats his daughter like crap and... I, I don't get where I'm supposed to invest it. It's like a really crappy episode of Entourage. But but they played Guitar Hero together. Oh, cute. I mean, I nothing happens. Nothing. Mmm. This is so good. Yeah, it's really good, Cleo. Mm, you got the sauce perfect. It's like not too heavy. Mmm. It's almost like angry, because like, I think she thought she could play the same note. Because granted, in Lost in Translation, there's not a lot that happens, but it's the no. building of this relationship. Right. And so where Bill Murray and Scarlett Johansson hit it, Fanning and Dorf do not. Um, I'm making a list for the things I need for camp. I have tennis racket, tennis balls, bathing suit, shampoo and conditioner. Uh, they have no chemistry as father and daughter. No. What else? Sunglasses. This will let you know how uninterested I was in Steven Dorff's character. I started dwelling on his buddy character, played by Chris Pontius from the Jackass character. <laughs> Bring your own soap so you don't get warts from the other kids. That always happens at camp. <laughs> because he was a better and more interesting character yeah. than this lumpy loaf on two feet. Ask your dad. <laughs> at one point, He's doing the junket circuit with his co-star in, in a film, played by Michelle Monaghan, who looks at him with withering glances. I understand why, because <laughs> the guy's a dick. <laughs> I just, I can't get involved in the movie or feel bad for somebody who's, you know, got women falling head over heels for him, who drives Ferraris, who's like that, and then he's like, feel bad for me, and I'm like, why? Because you're a crappy dad? You should feel bad because he's bored while strippers dance in his room. I know, and it's his birthday, too. 
poor guy. Sucks to be him. I'm, I'm sorry. I, Kobla totally missed the mark on this one. It bored the ever-living hell out of me, and I'm giving it one and a half stars. <laughs> I think I'm going to agree with you <laughs> yeah? in that regard. You coming in? Yeah. <laughs> I smell what you're cooking, <laughs> and it is much more savory than this leaden snore fest. One and a half stars. <laughs> I'll serve up a plate for two. Ugh. 